it kills on back in the whip and i see this some artists not artists some djs complaining that artists are using social media uh marketing agencies to um grow their grow their following in their fan base right <sighs> i just hate to say it but you know the time of the traditional dj is you know it's coming to an end you know what i'm saying as a dj myself and really it's kind of like a secret society of djs if you really think about it like because there's no more radio DJ. There's no more on-air DJs. And, you know, as far as DJs as an A&R, that's kind of almost non-existent. So the only thing that DJs really can do is the club scene. You know what I'm saying? And there are some staple DJs out there that, you know, they got a following, they got a brand, they've been DJing for years, so they still are getting booked to do parties and shows all across the country and the world. But as far as, you know, a, you a artist bringing a DJ a record that worked at a record label or a radio station or a TV station, that's long gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, even on a website, you know what I'm saying? Like, or even make it a mixtape, that's kind of dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of DJs that switched that was doing mixtapes then kind of switched over into doing you know, getting into social media marketing, some of them, and, you know, other ones are doing interviews with a lot of different artists. So, you know, they got certain artists that that are big artists and they reach out and they pay those artists or those artists, you know, stop through on their press run. And then you got the ones that are paying, you know, the up and coming artists that are paying for the interviews with the, with the um, DJs and these different outlets. You know, so, you know, the thing that the traditional DJ has still, you know, the power that they still have is if they want to break a record in a certain club, especially the strip club, they can still do it, you know, and that's kind of like a domino effect. Like if it breaking the club, it's going to ooze out into the streets and, you know, the strip club, the, 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 the dancers is going to bring it to the, um, to their kids and their kids gonna be dancing to it you know what i'm saying and, and, and then it just snowballs you know what i'm saying or it'll go you know what i'm saying or it'll go in the club and then it hit the streets and then you know uh you know and it, it'll be like you know kind of reverse osmosis you know what i'm saying but a lot of the hood street songs you know are still being dropped in the club whereas you know yo you know yo yo your commercial stuff is on the internet because the kids are deciding, okay, cool. I seen my favorite influencer who's also has, you know, a social media, uh, a, a, a marketing agency, or they're using a program or a software to influence the, fo the, the follower count. Some of them, uh, a lot of them are doing full gazy stuff, but a lot of them are doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of them are legitimate businesses, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no way in the world that, you know, these artists that's independent are blowing up just off of being in the streets and doing all that. That's that's old, you know what I'm saying? That's old and antiquated. And it's, you know, the DJs know that they got certain powers and the, uh, the labels know they got a power because they got the marketing and the stuff like that. But the people that's independent, that's using the social media platforms the, uh, and the social media uh, marketing agencies to build up their followers and their fan base, they are bypassing the DJ. Like the DJ has to play their record in the club because it's it's a smash on the internet. And I just feel like, now that I done broke it all the way down, I feel like these DJs are scared. They scared that people ain't coming to them first. Like I seen one DJ, man, he was like, I don't even respect a person that's using a social media platform. They need to get it out the mud. Well, if a person doesn't have the connections, he doesn't want to dick ride his way to the top, meaning he got to pay a DJ, which this is, this is kind of crazy concept in itself. He paying a DJ to pl play his record in the club or to perform in front of a big artist where if that DJ don't play that record enough times and really break that record, 
to where it get a little buzz and then it kind of, you know, filters off in the streets, then the artist, it's a watch for the artist. You know what I'm saying? But if a person gets hot online, if he gets, he has a, a social media marketing agency that is building his fan base and growing his fan base and people are naturally gravitating towards him because they have the ability to, you know, bring people to a page you know, uh, I ain't gonna explain it to y'all. Like they, 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 they doing it. And Instagram ain't outlawed it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like the labels ain't even outlawed it because the labels been had it. Labels been getting they, they artists. They it just it just the the technology got out there. So now you got these social media marketing agencies just growing these folks' fan base. This is why you see people that you know what i'm saying unless they on youtube or something they exploit an algorithm and they figure that out because that's another so that's a free social media marketing agency if you know the algorithm if you can get people to if you can influence the algorithm and there's so much that goes into it even after you do the marketing but the djs is scared man they scared that people ain't gonna, gonna spend the ten thousand dollars that it take to do a mixtape with them for them to do you know to get on all the little free sites or whatever um, to do the mixtape with them, to go on tour with them. They scared that it's going to, you know what I'm saying? That ain't nobody going to want to spend money with them. So they talking down on the methodology, the technology that these artists are using. And I just feel like, it, you know, if you are already eating, you should have enough bread off the back of these thirsty artists. A lot of them never coming out records. A lot of dudes didn't drop bread. You know, they ran out of money, but you, you know, you didn't announce that you didn't have a project with them. We don't never hear the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Or the mixtape don't never come out or something crazy happened where, you know, that artist just goes and he put the mixtape out here. He put on iTunes, like why people have stopped doing the mixtape? Because it's like, why am I paying the DJ when I'm already on fire online, unless, you know, like, I, I still want to work with the DJs, you know what I'm saying? The big DJs, I still want to do projects and stuff like that and had them, to, you know, bring them some awareness and stuff like that. But I will be using a social media marketing agency that has a proven track record to grow my following. I just have to, I'm getting the budget together. And when I get, when I get, my my life and my budget and everything where I want it and I could drop a bag on the social media marketing agency. I could drop a bag on this. I could drop a bag on that. Then that's when I'm going to hatch the plan. But artists out there got to start being smart and investing in these social media marketing agencies because regardless of what these DJs are sitting up there saying, bruh, you leaving money on the table. You got to spend money to make money. But if you spending money with a DJ, you spending money on a, on a feature, you spending money on uh, opening, you know, for artists that, you know what I'm saying? You spending all this money on promo and everything else and nobody cares about you, you, you as a person or you uh, as an artist, you wasting your time and money and the DJ going and he putting the money in his pocket, feeding his family and you just, just fucked up your whole budget putting your faith in another person you know what i'm saying they gotta sell you the dream that you gonna get out you still gotta get out here and work now i ain't saying you still ain't got to break bread with the dj but it's a consecrated effort you gotta have everything firing off and it take money artists don't want to i'm gonna put it back on art artists don't want to invest their bread so that's why they can't get ahead but it's big kills on man y'all know do make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe for the one time hit the notification bell you can tell nothing blow and go live it's a long one but damn i had to put it out there djs man y'all gotta quit hating you know what i'm saying you can get bread too get you a social media market agency and you can get bread too that's the only way i see the djs really eating in this 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 generation is that they start putting money behind the records instead of trying to get money out of the artists they need to start just like with dj drama dj drama went and got a little uzi vert and ain't looked back since you ain't seen dj drama drop an album he ain't drop a mixtape i think he did a couple mixtapes but he ain't by and large he focused on little uzi he getting money from little uzi you know, but anyway, this big kills on man, I'm out. Peace.